Hi, this is John O'Coral. Welcome to our auspicious blockchain video blog for this week. This week we're going to be doing an intro to decentralized finance, or DeFi for short. You can also check out this uh, course as part of a lot of other content that we have in our Blockchain Betty course, which is a self-paced uh, learning about blockchain and about DeFi and cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin and everything else to get started. So you can check that out on our website, uh, Auspicious Blockchain, Auspicious Agile.com. So let's get into it. What is DeFi? Well, here's a definition from the Coinbase website. DeFi is short for decentralized finance. DeFi is an umbrella term for peer-to-peer -peer financial services on public blockchains, primarily Ethereum. Now you're going to find also that this is also now we have a lot of other uh, blockchains that are providing DeFi. You get most of the banking services that you get in a traditional bank, earning interest, borrowing, lending, buying insurance, trading derivatives, trading assets, and more, but it's faster, there's no paperwork or third party, you can do it directly yourself, and it is basically permissionless, meaning that you don't need to go and get somebody else's permission to do it, as with typically with blockchains, open blockchains uh, as well. So this is something that we're going to get into a little bit more, and one of the things we're going to do is take a look first from the uh, some of the top projects that are out there. So we're going to jump into that. One of the top projects is Uniswap, and these are by Total Value Locked, or TVL. So Uniswap, uh, one of the top for giving liquidity providing. We have Aave, which is a really big project for lending. Uh, we have Compound Finance and PancakeSwap, which is on the Binance Smart Chain. We have Oasis App, as well as Wrap BTC, which is very interesting. Wrap BTC actually allows you to use Bitcoin on the Ethereum network. We have Curve Finance and Convex Finance, which work closely together, actually. We have Yearn Finance and SushiSwap. And for Curve and Convex, that's part of the reason probably that they're very close in total value locked. Now, one of the key features of DeFi is the high interest rates that you can get, right? So the high interest rates and fees that are available for lenders and liquidity providers on DeFi, that's really nice because in traditional banks, as we'll touch on in a minute, you're not going to get that much. Right? So rates can range from 1% to 2% all the way up to 20 to 30% and above. And some of the riskier DeFi projects can offer over 100% APY return. So that means doubling your money in the course of a year. That is really good. Of course, they are riskier, so not guaranteed. Now, let's compare this to our traditional bank account. Right? Traditional bank accounts are offering someplace in the range of 0.001%, 0.0001%, right? if you're lucky. And you're probably not even getting a statement anymore on your interest because the interest on traditional bank accounts is just so low at this point. So you're seeing that there's really a big difference in what you can earn in DeFi versus what you can earn from a traditional banking context. Now, another key feature of DeFi is that you retain control of your own funds, right? So you don't have to hand your funds over like you would in a banking or traditional finance context. You keep your funds in your own wallet and you're able to connect your wallet to a different DeFi platforms like Uniswap or Aave, and then you're able to go ahead and lend and provide liquidity and make those returns, but you still control your own coins and tokens uh, on the different blockchains, which is great because you don't have to ask anybody's permission when you want to take it back. You can just go ahead and take it right back and put it right back and it stays right there in your wallet. So really good in terms of controlling your own funds. And another aspect is that um, We'll talk a little bit about some of, or one of our recent meetups, actually, where we went through and we were looking at some of the different projects. These are a little more unique ones, a little more risky ones. Um, in our meetups, we usually look at financial inclusion. Uh, we usually look at financial inclusion across Africa developing markets. Uh, and so one of the projects here we have is yield farming. Uh, it's called Tree DeFi, the first eco-friendly DeFi project backed by real live trees, up to 237.11% APR. And then we have a FEG token, which is a hyper deflationary DeFi token built to succeed, as they say, up to 200% APR. And X Sigma, which is a stable coin DEX and a liquidity mining platform backed by a public NASDAQ company, which is a 50% return. Now, I do not know if these tokens are still at those returns. I think the meetup was about six months ago, and these rates do vary. Also, please keep in mind you should do your own research and your own due diligence. Uh, I'm not a participant in those projects, so you should look into them yourselves. Uh, and as well, I'm not a financial advisor, so please do contact if you want to talk to a financial advisor um, to go and look into a different things that you need for your own due diligence. 
let's go on. So we're also going to take a look at what we call yield farming and proof of stake or staking, right? So yield farming is where we're trying to get the highest possible yield across multiple DeFi platforms, different liquidity providing, different staking, getting the highest yields possible. So we got our farmer here and he's farming some Bitcoin. More likely it's probably some wrapped Bitcoin on the Ethereum network, but he's farming. He's trying to get the highest rates possible available. And that's what we're looking at as we go into this next section. So the first one we'll look at approach is what we call liquidity providing. And that's something you can do on Uniswap. So on Uniswap, we provide liquidity. And when we do that, we're basically providing maybe a pair of tokens like uh, BTC or wrap BTC rather in Ethereum or compound dial, which is a stable coin in Ethereum. And that's allowing the platform, the exchange to have liquidity uh, to be able to make exchanges for people. And as you do that, what that does is they give you a fee every single time there's an exchange using that liquidity you provide. So you can get some very nice returns um, using these liquidity providing options. And of course, Uniswap is one of the most well known. Another one is for borrowing and lending. Now, borrowing and lending, Aave is very well known as far as a borrowing and lending platform. And so you could use that. There's also quite a few others that will offer you the ability to do that. You can be a lender on the platform or a borrower, and that's up to you as you choose. Leverage lending is another one. It's a little more rare. It's not as common, but leverage lending is something you can do. One project that uh, I'm aware of is v.finance. Uh, which is on the Avalanche blockchain. The Avalanche blockchain has been doing really well. I haven't looked into the latest updates on this v.finance um, plat DeFi uh, platform, but uh, hopefully as the Avalanche tokens are doing well, hopefully that's also proceeding well. Another option is staking. So you can have LP tokens or liquidity provider tokens. So things like ADA, which is Cardano, Shiba Swap, uh, Shiba Inu, Solana, Uniswap, uh, and then if you look at things like, let's say, the Shiba Swap, you're also going to get other liquidity provided tokens, So, which are going to be things like the uh, Bone token and others that you get for providing liquidity and for staking. Now, there are also tokens that pay redistribution fee. I won't go deeply into those. But that's another option that allows you to get uh, some returns as well. So at any rate, the Blockchain Betty course, check that out if you want to see this full lesson as well as other lessons that we have on introduction to blockchain and crypto and investing in crypto and DeFi, you can find that on auspiciousblockchain.com or auspiciousagile.com. So as always, we say at the end of these videos, stay agile and thanks for listening and we'll see you next time.